I was really pleased with the effort all the way through the game. All the way through the lineup, the, the effort that the guys gave. And like you said, whether it's five on five, or the guys that kill penalties, the guys that get their chance on the power play, goaltending, you know, all, all around was really great effort. And the one thing that I was actually really surprised with, just given that we're here, you know, preseason game number three, and we got a lot of guys competing, you know, for spots here that are in this game today. They're all competing with each other in a lot of ways uh, for spots. And uh, the energy of the team, the positivity, the uh, just the competitive spirit of the group was really, really strong. Um, and, and that's why I think they played as hard as they did. They made few mistakes. And when they did make mistakes, they were there to, to cover for each other and back each other up through effort. So I was really impressed with the, with the effort and the commitment the guys had tonight. Yeah, there was a lot of curiosity, I and mean, I think in, generally in preseason, curiosity is a good a good word you know, in terms of how you go into the things because you don't really know what to expect. You don't know how the guys are going to perform. You don't know how they're going to gel. You're just kind of throwing a group a group of guys together in a lot of ways, like throwing a lineup together, and a lot of guys, especially in this lineup, that haven't played together throughout camp, and and they, they play together tonight. Uh, you know, we left a lot of talent and experience back home in Toronto, and. Ottawa had a lot of uh, you know, talent and experience out of their group, but uh, the guys who played for us tonight played hard. They played together. Uh, they did what we asked of them. They executed on the things we've been working on through camp. And uh, we made really good adjustments uh, in our penalty kill from the game in Montreal on Monday to tonight. Uh, the guys executed it very well. Really important area. You know, that's something that I felt we we've really needed in the last couple of seasons. You know, having that extra depth at center ice, a guy who has strength is on the penalty kill and welcomes defensive assignments. Alex Kerfoot's done a lot of that work for us, and, and have the extra support here now with uh, Camp um, not only helps Kerf, but it also helps Matthews and Tavares as well. Who you know they have taken on really the bulk of their responsibility but uh, that just gives us extra options it allows us to spread ice time around a little bit better um, you know and, and you know if we ever want to put Kerfoot on the wing then we have uh, the support there so lots of really good things come from that addition yeah, that's what he does you know I, I know if I've known Bunce a real long time and uh, he gets himself into the scoring area. He's got great hands, great sense around the net. He gets opportunities. He has the ability to score. He's as hungry as anybody to score. Uh, so the, for him to get off to this start here in the preseason is a tremendous sign for him and us. I think, you know, for a guy like him, you know, he's he's got to come in here. He's got he's got to get comfortable, which I think he's done a really good job of that. And a lot of that work was done before camp even began. Just the amount of time he spent in our facility training and getting to know the guys and getting to know the staff uh, in terms of strength coaches and trainers and such. So he's very comfortable. That's helped him get off to a good start. We've given him a good opportunity and played him with good players. That's helped. Um, I think that he is in a... He's in a really good spot right now in terms of uh, he's the way I look at it is really um, a blank page, I think I would say, just in the sense that he's come in here with a fresh start. He knows he has a great skill set, but he's committed to learning to play the game the way that it's required and to be able to, to do more things than just be a dynamic offensive talent. Uh, he's, he's, he's adding a foundation to his game in other areas that gives him uh, more versatility as a player. So I've been really impressed with how he's handled himself uh, here in the early going. How early 
Yeah, I had a couple conversations with him in passing. I mean, I, you know, before camp begins, you know, I'm, I'm usually off on my own and keeping the players, giving them their space, and, and they're doing their thing with the strength coaches and such. Uh, I'm not overly involved uh, at that time, but certainly he was a guy who was a priority for me to speak with, just to let him know that we're excited to have him. Uh, and I've, you know, I, I was in junior when he was in junior, so I have followed his path, coached against him in the American Hockey League, so I do have some contacts with him as a player, uh, both, frankly, the, the good things and, and not so good things that, that I've seen and experienced or witnessed in his game. Uh, but that we were going to give him a fresh start and a good opportunity. I made it very clear what I expected of him. And as I said, he's, he's been really good, not just with me. You know, as I'm saying here, he's had a greater sample with our strength coaches and training staff uh, before camp even began. And he's done nothing but work and do what's asked of him.